way of seeing it is those flashing ampers rather than everyone or a few people there seeing it quite late. Should this fan do what he's doing now and pass us on the inside? It certainly shouldn't. Nothing we've done wrong though yet, so that's not going to fail your driving test. Overtaken on the left is one of the subjects where I regularly see poor knowledge and understanding but also attitudes. In this video, I'm gonna explain when you are classed as overtaking on the left and when you are not overtaking on the left. And I'm gonna be using four official sources to verify this information. I'm gonna be dispelling the two most common myths surrounding overtaking on the left so that you don't get pulled over by the police and issued with careless driving, a three points on your license, 100 pound fine, and the more serious cases can even go to court. And lastly, I'll be looking at how you should deal correctly with people that hog the middle lane or the overtaking lane. So before we get into it, if you are seeing me for the first time, do like, hit subscribe, and there's plenty of stuff on the channel for all sorts of experience levels, whatever your level is, uh, and I'm always happy to help in any way that I can. So looking at the video clip earlier where the van overtakes us on the left, when you see this sort of situation happening on the road, you will see a variety of comments from people that seem to surface and the two most common are that it's not undertaking because you didn't change lanes to overtake on the left therefore it's not classed as undertaking and the other one is i was just making progress in my lane and because the lane to my right is moving slower i can overtake on the left both of these statements are incorrect and they're likely to get you pulled over and a little fine if you're seen to do it. So looking at the first myth that it's only undertaking if you change lanes to overtake on the left. It is possible that people misunderstand some of the highway code, but I think more likely than not, this is going to be down to poor attitudes and spinning the rules to your own advantages. The highway code is very clear on overtaking on the left. So rule 163 is very, very clear. It's about general rules for drivers. And part of that rule states only overtake on the left if the vehicle in front is signaling to turn right and there is room to do so. It then goes on to say, stay in your lane if traffic is moving slowly in queues. If the queue on your right is moving more slowly than you are, you may pass on the left. Now this could be where people start to interpret these rules to their own advantages. If we go back to our video clip, there's a slow moving tractor in the left lane, which means people are now moving into the right hand lane, including ourselves, to overtake. This is not a queue, so this is not acceptable to overtake on the left. From a video that I did a long time ago, it was about overtaking on the left, and my student was on a driving test. Up ahead, very similar situation, there's a slow moving tractor and traffic is moving out to the right, preparing to overtake. My learner keeps her speed in the left lane and very luckily for her, a black pickup truck moves back into the left before she has the opportunity to overtake on the left. The driving examiner at the end said to her, if you had have overtaken on the left, you would have failed. Now the reason is, it's not a queue. Again, it is not slow moving traffic in queues, so overtaking on the left is not permitted at this time. Now, once you're in a queue of slow moving traffic, yes, it can be okay now to overtake on the left because you may find at times that the left lane may be moving faster than the right, and that is okay. But again, it's that keyword of queues. That's where people take the mickey a little bit with this. Rule 151 deals with slow moving traffic and it says you should not change lanes to the left to overtake. So you should just stay in your lane and go with the progress in your lane. But again, that is slow moving traffic. Now on a driving test recently, I had a student that I gave a driving fault to uh, for a situation approaching a roundabout. So we're turning right at the roundabout. It's this roundabout here and it's right second exit towards Little Plumstead. My learner moves into the right hand lane in good time and then cancels his right signal. Now, if you see the traffic behind us, they do everything correctly. Because we are not displaying a right signal as, as per one rule 163, no one actually overtakes us on the left. We get all the way up to the roundabout. And at that point, as we move on, my learner puts a right signal on and we then traverse the roundabout. 
Now the driving fault, it wouldn't have failed his driving test, but the driving fault was given for signal timing. The, the signal is correct. It is a right signal to turn right, so it can't be signal correct. The signal did go on, so it can't be signal necessary because he did signal, but the timing of the signal was too late. Looking in his mirrors, lots of traffic following. If he puts the right signal on in good time, that gives other people now the opportunity, if they wish, to overtake on the left. Now with motorway driving, you need to look at rule 268, and that's very, very similar to the other rules that have been applied for overtaking on the left. But this, I think, is where some of the confusion and misinterpretation of the rules does come in. Now we've already dispelled the myth about it's only overtaking on the left if you change lanes to do it by looking at one, uh, rule 151 in particular. Um, but rule 268, the very simple sentence that completely dispels that myth is the very first sentence of that rule. Do not overtake on the left or move to a lane on your left to overtake or move to a lane to your left to overtake. So that literally gets rid of the first myth in terms of that. Now we've already started to look at getting rid of the second myth, which is oh, I was just making progress in my lane. And rule 268 is worded slightly differently. It says in congested conditions where adjacent lanes of traffic are moving at similar speeds, traffic in left-hand lanes may sometimes be moving faster than traffic to the right. In these conditions, you may keep up with the traffic in your lane, even if this means passing traffic in the left, uh, in the lane to your right. Do not weave in and out of lanes to overtake. Congested conditions. So again, we're coming back to queues, slow moving traffic. That is what congestion is. Congestion is not just a slightly slower speed of flow. And some people will use this as an excuse to overtake on the left when they should not. So this clip that's playing now, a vehicle is in the left lane and is seen to overtake multiple vehicles on their right. This is overtaking on the left. You've got a reduced speed limit, a 50 mile an hour speed limit for roadworks. And you do have people that I would say should not be in the middle or the right hand lanes. They should be moving back into their left. But that's the first wrong. By overtaking on the left, which is what the cam car is continuously seen to do, you are now adding the second wrong into that situation. Both are careless driving. So you're now increasing the risks of something happening. Two wrongs do not make a right. One of my personal pet hates is overtaking on the left. And it's mainly because of the attitude that very often comes with that. So if you look at that clip that was shown uh, online, if we take a look at some of the comments, you can see those sorts of attitudes that are taking place. So if you look at this one, that's not undertaking. Undertaking would be in the middle lane, move over left, pass a car on the left, and then move to the middle lane again. So that's the first big myth that we talked about. And look how many people have liked that comment. 86 people, 86 people. I challenged it. And I got some very interesting replies. Now you had some people that do understand it. This one here, lanes two and three were nowhere near congested. Cam car could easily have moved to the right to legally overtake. That's correct. It isn't illegal to overtake on the left though. Um, so technically that statement legally overtake it is incorrect. But if you overtake on the left, you will be pulled over if you're seen to do it. But look at this first one, exactly right. And even helps with the flow of traffic. To me, undertaking is going faster than the speed limit in a lane to the left of traffic going at the speed limit. So that's that second myth where some people think that they can just sit at a constant speed in the left lane. And if they overtake something on their right, that is acceptable and it's not. This sort of comment, the facts are the cam car is the only car not breaking the law. That is a very pla simple, plain, basic fact hope you don't have a license if you don't know this you can see how people get very wound up by this so essentially that was the two most common myths that, that surface in that sort of environment um about yeah it's only overtaking on the left if you change lanes and oh, i was just making progress in my lane neither of which are going to stand up unfortunately so we we have the highway code as our official first source and i did promise four so the second one is going to be this book, the DVSA Official Guide to Driving. So every driving instructor, I'm sure, has this book. And it's very, very useful. It is the industry standard driving manual. 
And so any information that you want that's official, you can get from this book. So the first one we've got is about overtaking. And this is in normal driving, page 182, overtaking on the left. You should never overtake on the left unless the vehicle in front is signaling to turn right and you can safely overtake on their left. Take care if there's a road to the left, oncoming traffic turning right into it may be hidden by the vehicle you're overtaking. Or traffic is moving slowly in queues and vehicles in the lane on your right are moving more slowly than you are. So again, there's that word queues. Now that's normal roads. The next bit, overtaking on dual carriageways and page 184, overtaking on the left. So this is now dual carriageways. You must not overtake on the left unless traffic is moving more slowly in queues, uh, uh, sorry, moving slowly in queues and the queue on your right is moving more slowly than you are. Never move to a lane on your left to overtake. So again, exactly what we're saying. It's that word cues, and this is where people are taking the mickey. For me, that's really clear, really clear. And then motorway driving, the book dissects now motorway driving and page 301, overtaking on the left, never overtake on the left unless the traffic is moving in cues and the queue on your right is moving more slowly than the queue you're in. So unless you're in a slow moving queue, you don't overtake on the left and you can, you can say, yeah, it's fine, I'm making progress, but that is not how the police, etc., will see it. That's not how the rules are. The third source is just one police force that I looked at, the Met Police. They had a list of what they class as things like careless driving. And you can see that, yes, middle lane hogging is classed as careless driving. And I'm not for a minute condoning that because as soon as you've overtaken on a motorway, dual carriageway, you must move back into the left. Not enough people do that. But if you look at careless driving, also passing on the inside is listed as an offence under careless driving. So that's what I mean about the two wrongs. You want to just keep it as the person doing the wrong and not overtake them on the left and add that in. And the fourth source, the fourth official source, is me. So I am a DVSA approved driving instructor. I've had to go through extensive training and I have standards, checks, etc. But more often than not, I'm taking people up to a driving test. These are people of all ages, skill levels, etc. Um, I do refresher training, but I am always taking people up to a driving test. Now, the driving test is the standard I hold my on my videos and I hold when I drive around. It's the standard that we should all be still driving to. The accidents don't really happen if you do drive to that standard. I am telling you, and I'm using official sources, but as a driving instructor, I am telling you what overtaking on the left is and that you shouldn't be doing it. And again, that is your fourth official source. Don't listen to Bob and Stacy on dash cam groups that are saying, yeah, yeah, if you're making progress in your lane, you can just do it. Oh, it's only overtaking if you've changed lanes to do it because you, you're going to believe it. The trouble with social media is if you have an opinion you can find someone out there that agrees with your opinion and that backs it up in your head that you're correct. But opinions don't trump facts and facts of overtaking on the left is what I've highlighted in this video. So the other thing I also see a lot of is people not demonstrating correctly how you deal with someone that is hogging the middle lane or the overtaking lanes. Okay, so I see a lot of people that just decide to overtake on the left. There is a responsibility you have. That's why you're charged with careless driving if you're seen to overtake on the left, because you don't do it. I think this either happens through a, a lack of knowledge and understanding, but I think very likely attitude. For me personally, if you're enraged by someone hogging the middle lane or hogging the overtaking lanes, to the point where you feel that your only course of action is to put another wrong in there and overtake on the left, then unfortunately you are part of the problem. You're not part of the solution. The vast majority of time, you will only have a problem on the roads if there are two wrongs in a situation. If you take your wrong out of the situation and do the right thing, it cancels out the other person's wrong. A really simple example of that was my learner and I on a driving lesson, we're taking the next road on the left and there's a pedestrian approaching. Now, according to the highway code, we should stop and allow that pedestrian to cross the road. We also have under H1 a duty of care for that person because they are more vulnerable than us. Now my learner and I stop and the pedestrian doesn't even look round. This is getting more and more common. But because the pedestrian did the wrong thing but we did the right thing, 
there is no problem. Look at the situation if you now have two wrongs in exactly the same situation. So if I'm on a dual carriageway and someone is hogging the overtaking lane, the thing I would do is to move behind that person, keeping a safe distance, and I would flash my headlights. Now it's pretty reasonable to assume that that person does not know I'm there or does not know that I intend to overtake if they're just hogging the, mid, the overtaking lane. So it's perfectly acceptable to flash your headlights. It is designed to alert people of your presence. And I would just flash them again if they didn't move, continue to not move, I would just flash the lights again, but I would not overtake on the left. Absolutely not. On a motorway, if they're hogging the middle lane, I would move to a lane to the right to overtake. And yes, even if that means I've got to do two or even three lane changes, I'm sorry, but that is the correct response to someone that's hogging the middle or the right hand lanes. On the, the footage I showed earlier in the roadwork section, plenty of people were saying, send it into operation snap, you'll get loads of people done for careless driving. But if they had done, very likely fine. Unfortunately, the cam driver would also get done for the careless driving because of the overtaking on the left. So if you experience this yourself, don't add the wrong into the situation. Do the right thing. It's not our job to police the roads. It's not our job to tell people what they should be doing. Just do the right thing, mind your own business and carry on. The police pull over plenty of people for middle lane hogging. So hopefully this makes sense. Do feel free to comment on your experiences. Do you notice a lot of overtaking on the left? Do you see a lot of poor attitudes and understanding about the subject? If you disagree, feel free to comment. Look, I won't stand for personal comments and, and just people being silly. But if you've got a genuine, if you do genuinely disagree with me, then say, I've got no problem with that. But quote an official source. Don't say something like, well, I overtook on the left in front of a police officer and I didn't get pulled over. That doesn't prove it's okay. It might just be the police officer was on other duties, not really that interested, whatever it was, okay? Doesn't prove it's okay. I've given you four official sources to tell you that you shouldn't be doing this. So if you're gonna argue and say that I'm wrong, show me an official source. And remember that ultimately it's not me that you have to convince about what overtaking on the left is. It could well one day be the police officer that's pulled you over because you're overtaking people in the left-hand lane. Why are you doing that, sir? Oh, I was just making progress in my lane. I'm allowed to do that. The police also won't see it the same way.